Good morning, collective. My name is Renee. This is going to be a collective reading for the next 48 hours. What's going on for the next 48 hours for the collective? What messages do we have? What messages do we have for the collective for the next 48 hours? When I was meditating on your energy, I could feel that there are a lot of changes that are happening for you right now. There are a lot of changes. I feel like you're working on yourself. You're working on your personal growth. I feel like you are expanding yourself. And we have acceptance. I feel like you have the need to be accepted. You have the need to um, be accepted in a circle of friends. Um, this may also mean family. But I feel like you are really yearning for acceptance at the moment. You have discovery. So I feel like a lot of things are coming into view for you. A lot of things are coming into perspective. Um, what you also don't see at the bottom is I feel like you are really going through a huge recovery at the moment. It could be that um, you're dealing with the loss of a love or dealing with conflicts in, in your love life. Um, but I feel like you are recovering from something. Maybe you're recovering from overdoing it for the holidays. But it could be just as simple as that. But I feel like you are in this mode of recovery. Okay, let's get some more cards here. What does the collective have to look forward to for the next 48 hours? Okay, this one wanted to pop out. Gratitude and thanks. Yeah, I feel like at this moment, it's a very good time to be thankful for everything that we have, everything that we're manifesting, everything that is coming into our life, going out of our life as well. I feel like it's a time to be very thankful for everything that we have. At the bottom, what you don't see is you need to make a move. Make a move on something. I feel like you're thinking about starting something. You're thinking about pursuing something new and I feel like it's a very good time to make your move make your move in what you want collective let's get an angel card what do the angels want to say for the next 48 hours Yeah, as I'm looking at that card, as I'm, I'm really meditating on that card, make a move. I'm feeling that whatever it is that you want to start, I feel like it's going to be something very successful. Very, it has to do with the big changes that you're going through. I feel like whatever this is, it can be something beautiful very beautiful collective okay what do the angels want to say to the collective next 48 hours next 48 hours please okay you have mystique keep charging ahead don't take no for an answer and expect miraculous solutions to appear. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's just what I was saying. It's time for you to keep charging ahead. Make your move. At the bottom you have new romances imminent. Either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. 
Okay, collective. Beautiful energy so far. Let's keep it moving. What is coming for the collective for the next 48 hours? What is coming for the collective next 48 hours, please? The lion. Okay, so you have strength. It says the lion, higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. So yeah, I'm feeling like, you know, you have great strength, Collective, even if you don't feel like it. Um, and at the bottom you have always prepared the squirrel. You are an expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Beautiful. I feel like you're making huge plans at the moment, Collective. I feel like you're going to get a lot of aha moments. Like, yeah, I should go about it this way. Or, yes, I should go about it that way. Um, maybe I should incorporate this. I, I, but I feel like you're going to have a lot of aha moments. Um, <clears throat> and that, that can deal with love, with um, business, some kind of project or hobby that you're doing. But I feel like the answers are coming to you. And and I, I, I also feel like it's a very good time to really take notice of your dreams. Maybe start a dream journal um, and keep that by your bedside so that you can write down whatever it is that you're dreaming of. Uh, whatever it is that you remember. Sometimes we dream and we really feel really energetic and reignited when we wake up but we don't remember anything from our dream so I, I feel like it's a very good time to start something new there okay you have the queen of cups the queen of cups wanted to be the first to pop out now this could be your energy or this could be someone coming close to you um, but this may be someone who wants to come and heal and nurture you, give you the support that you need. This may be your energy as well, collective. You may be the nurturer. You may be very thoughtful and loving. You may be um, nurturing your family, your children. But I feel like this energy, to be totally honest with you, I feel like this energy is somebody else. I don't feel like this is the collective. I feel like this is someone else coming in. Okay. We have the chariot. So yes, Collective, I feel like you're making big moves in the next 48 hours. And we already said that. But I feel like you're letting a higher power take control of the situation. I feel like you have let go of whatever doubts and fears that you've had. And you're just going with the flow. You're letting the higher power lead you. And that's whatever you believe in. Um, source, God, the universe, your spirits and guides. But I, I feel like they're leading you. And now when, when you're led by your intuition, by the spirit, you are being led in the right direction. So I feel like 
no matter how fast or how slow this may go, I feel like in the next 48 hours, you are making moves. Okay, we have the devil energy. And we also have the king of swords who wanted to come up. Okay, so with this devil and the king of swords, I feel like I feel like something someone's gonna come towards you who has a very sharp tongue someone's gonna come to you and they're not gonna have any holds barred um, they're gonna speak what they say they're gonna mean what they say and this may be very um, irritating to you this may also be someone who's just trying to take your energy um, that you have because in the beginning you have very positive energy and then this king of swords comes in and I see that your energy has shifted so be careful for this energy sucker uh, to come into your life to to steal your energy away because I feel like your energy is on the right path. I feel like you are going in a smooth and great direction. Um, yeah, but be careful for those greedy spirits who are trying to take more than what we can give. And we all have them around us, you know. Um, we all have that one person around us who is just an energy sucker they just come in the room with just negative vibes nothing's going wrong you ask them how they're doing and they're it's all bad it's all bad i can't i can't get anything right and it's like oh it, it's like sucking your energy your positive energy out of your body Okay, collective, what do we have going on for the next 48 hours? Okay, we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like, yeah, there's good news coming around. I feel like you're, this could be the project that you're working on or something that you're working on. is could also be love. But I feel like you're going to have good news coming, very good news. And it's going to uplift you um, because you have the, the Ten of Pentacles as well. So this could be with your finances and your family. Um, but I feel like this good news is going to bring a lot of good fortune into your life. Okay. Okay, and we have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So yeah, this may be love coming in. You also have the Empress at the bottom. So her energy, she has this beautiful loving energy. Um, she's creating something. She is manifesting something into her life. And I, I feel like this is definitely your energy because you also have the Ace of Cups here. And I feel like something's coming in very swiftly for you. Um, this could be love. This could be a new project. But I, I feel like this is like the creation of something brand new and, and something that's life changing. That's what I feel. Hmm. Okay, you also have the Three of Cups here. So I feel like you're going to be going on celebrations. Maybe you're going to be invited to parties, get-togethers. Um, there's going to be some kind of support system that you're tapping into to keep you uplifted during this time. Um, so I feel like these people, um, the Three of Cups, are going to be very supportive, very nurturing. You have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so 
with the seven of wands energy i feel like you may feel like in some situation that you have to compete um to get someone's attention maybe yeah i feel like you're competing to get someone's attention Yeah, I don't feel like you're defending yourself or you have to protect your energy um, in this situation. Um, but I feel like you, you're you competing with someone. Maybe this is maybe this is a project that, that, that you're doing. Maybe there's a lot of competition for what it is that you're doing. But I also see that you have the hangman. So I feel like you are gaining... All the clarity that you need um, this goes with that aha moment too because I feel like you're you're looking at your situation in a total new perspective this puts everything really it brings it all to light I feel like a lot of answers are being um, opened up to you at this moment especially with this discovery card I feel like you're discovering new avenues new ways of doing things I feel like you are I want to say you're, you're pushing yourself to the limits you're going all out for the situation What is this collective? Is this a love interest that you're going all out for? Or is this a project? Very interest. It very well could be love because you have the Ace of Cups. This could be some a, a new love coming in and you're going all out. You are... You're kind of giving it all you got. That may resonate with some of you. With the rest of you, I feel like this is starting something that you really enjoy, that you really love, that you're passionate about. What else do we have for the collective for the next 48 hours? What do we have for the collective next 48 hours? The Four of Wands. Okay. The Three of Cups and the Four of Wands. There's definitely celebration. There's definitely get-togethers and happiness. Uh, there's a lot of things that are bringing you joy. You also have the Temperance here. So I feel like you are really finding your balance. You are, you are totally recovering. Um, you're feeling revived and rejuvenated. And the Ten of Pentacles again. Yes, yeah, so something's coming in that's going to bring you a lot of wealth, a lot of good health. Um, going to bring you a lot of happiness. This could very well deal with your finances. Something could lead um, into your finances this way. It could be... With this Ace of Cups coming in here, this could be a, a union um, and the, the Chariot card. You could be moving in with someone who has a very good income and you have become more wealthy because this person is supporting you. Very interesting. Now you got the Seven of Wands again. Now with the Seven of Wands, I feel like you are defending yourself from someone who is saying certain things about you but i feel like this king of cups here i feel like this king of cups is here to protect you he's here to provide you with protection and stability so this may be the person that's coming in to um either i want to say reunite so this may be someone that you already know but i feel like this king of cups he's stepping in 
he's stepping in, he's defending you. Um, maybe there was some sort of conflict or argument and he's putting his words out there to say that, you know, you're, you're in the right. Someone's standing up for you. Very interesting, Collective. You also have the Magician at the bottom. So I feel like whatever it is you're doing, you are in this idea of this focused creativity. You're turning your dreams and visions into reality. You're pulling them down to earth. And I, I feel like you have everything that you need in order to manifest whatever it is that you want. I feel very strong energy there that you are creating something in your life that maybe you had thought wasn't possible. But you're creating it. Yeah, the Six of Wands. Okay, so what you're creating is going to be very successful. You also have the Three of Cups again at the bottom. So I feel like whatever this is, this is something that's going to be very successful. This is going to make you feel grounded. It's going to put everybody's eyes on you. I feel like you're being rewarded for everything that you've done. And now... What else do we have for the next 48 hours, please? The next 48 hours. Yeah, the next 48 hours, someone is going to see you. Someone is going to see you. I also see that person, and I'm drawn to that person in the back. So, and I feel like there's going to be people in the background who are going to be jealous of your victory. They're going to be jealous of your success. Watch out for those energy suckers. those envious people who are, that may be even frenemies. Those envious people who you may not even see who don't have your back. They're kind of standing in the background very envious. Because they see you as so successful. They see you as getting all the rewards. Okay. Let's see. We have quieting the mind. So, yeah, I feel like you're doing a lot of soul searching at the moment. You also have body and soul. So, in the next 48 hours, it also may be time for you to do a little alone time to really rest and recover, rejuvenate, um, maybe take a spa day and, you know, really focus on making yourself feel good. Take a warm bubble bath. Really focus on quieting your mind, just relaxing. Because you've already got this success collective. I feel like the success is coming. Whether you see it coming or not, the success is coming. Now it's time to bask in your energies. It's time to um, really take care of yourself at the moment. You have success, you have love, you have wealth. So yeah, it's time to focus on yourself. Okay, you have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So it could be that you're still working on your ideas. Um, and it could be a time to further your plans for whatever it is that you want to do for your future venture but I feel like you know this time is a good time to really expand on what it is you're doing Let's see what else do we have for the collective the next 48 hours please oh 
that's a lot of cards. Okay, we have a new start is coming, the new moon. Yeah, so we definitely have new beginnings. And again, we have a new romantic cycle begins. So yeah, there's definitely love coming in here, collective. So if this isn't new love, this is love that's being reignited. Um, this is someone who's coming in to um, really build up your passion. Um, if you're married, this is this is going to be a very passionate time for you. And if you're looking for love, this is new love coming in. Wow. Okay, collective. Beautiful reading for you for the next 48 hours. I feel a lot of energy is coming through for you. Now, collective, if this reading resonated with you, please, in the comment section below, put claim it. You claim this energy for yourself. And if this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any further uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages that can clarify your situation. And many blessings to you the next 48 hours. Love and light.